Welcome in the Windows and Computer channel, and uh, today is a quick um, update to laptops and computers that have dual graphics adapters. More and more are now on the market. Why? For a simple reason. In the good old days, you had a graphics chip or integrated graphics, but it was one or the other. Today, most machines come with integrated graphics and if you have a more advanced machine like I got here, a Nitro 5 from Acer, you have a dedicated GPU for gaming, for example. So the thing is, what happens is that you got two GPUs and one of the things that a lot of people um, wonder is how can I disable the integrated GPU and use only the um, you know, advanced GPU? And that's something that you shouldn't worry about because the computer chooses the GPU by itself in general by uh, checking out the you know graphics um, intense apps that you have or games so you end up with a computer that chooses the correct graphics processor by itself now sometimes you got to give it a boost it happens I got a few uh, programs here for example that I got to tell them which graphics adapter to use. Once again, that means you need to have installed a perfect uh, the you know graphics drivers from the original manufacturer. So for example here on my Nitro 5, what happened with my Nitro 5 is that I had to um, go to the NVIDIA website and download the NVIDIA driver for my graphics uh, GTX 1050 you got to do that because you need the capabilities that that driver is actually adding to your PC. Once you do that, you'll be able to right click on apps or games and run with graphics processor and you'll have a choice and you need that choice. So this is something important because you won't be able to manually choose if for some reason the graphics uh, don't switch automatically. So like I said, for example, here I've got this game, Sea of Solitude, that I purchased. Uh, it's automatic. When I start the game, it actually is automatically working. But there are some apps that are graphics intensive that I noticed it doesn't switch. So that's where you have the capability of actually choosing which graphics performance you want to have. And it works for pretty much every app. So uh, you just choose. It's very important to know that. And honestly, by um, you, sh you don't need to actually, um, you know, remove the integrated graphics from your PC. Uh, in some cases, doing so is actually going to cause you problems because the PC is meant to run for most of its tasks in the integrated graphics chip and use the NVIDIA gaming chip or use the higher performance uh, graphics GPU when you need it for games or for graphic intensive apps so don't try to change that you usually will have an automatic switch within the operating system um, because it knows what you need to do or what it needs to use depending on the apps and like i said you got a manual choice so uh, don't worry about it and don't you know i get a lot of people that say hey i want to disable that integrated graphics don't need to it doesn't it doesn't matter if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching